Hey, welcome back to the channel, my fellow racers and hot riders. This is Blue Oval Dude. Uh, just stopping in here for a tech tip. These are the rods and the pistons for the Windsor. And what we got here is a SCAT stock length 5.956 connecting rod. And we have some flat top pistons for them. And complete with the rings. These are Wiseco units. So I've decided to use these. These are completely assembled. I've already gapped all the rings and uh, gotten that done, installed the circ clips, and the pistons are installed on here. So remember I said that I thought about going with stock rods and, and kind of kicked that around a little bit, and I decided that, you know, for $280, I was just gonna buy a set of rods for it. So this is what it looks like. Here's my rod and piston combo for this. Um, just a quick note here on uh, indexing your connecting rods. If you've never um, put connecting rods on pistons before and you're used to just using a cast um, press pin piston. So a press pin, they're going to have, and it's kind of nice, they got numbers on the outside of them. Okay, a stock piston has got your number one through eight out here on the outside of the rod. Okay, and on a stock Windsor or basically, I don't know, all, all Fords, as far as I know, that number that goes on the outside where you can read it easily. And uh, SCAT has also done this. But also, one thing to note here is your bearing tangs on all your Fords except your FE series, this tang goes towards the cam. Also, another thing to note is this big chamfer right here. You can, I'll flip this over. See the chamfer on this side, it's pretty small. Now you flipped it over to the other side and we've got this large chamfer on this side. Okay, this chamfer here, this goes on the fillet side of the crankshaft. A small chamfer or no chamfer, depending on what you got, that goes towards your connecting rod. So your other connecting rod will be here, and your fillet, your crank will be on this side over here. And also, when you get it installed, your bearing tangs right there will be on the same side as your eyebrows that your pistons go. Your eyebrows go up, the tangs go up. And I'll show you a quick shot of the block. And uh, that's back from the machine shop. Here it is right here. I'm just uh, getting this assembled right now. Um, so this has been bored and torque plated, a line honed. Uh, the assembly's been balanced. Uh, it's been decked. They're five thousandths in the hole right now. I wanted to leave a little room for possibly future mods that I decide and until I decide at this point this is what I'm going to do with it and I've left it open to make uh, further mods in the future if I choose to do so with this engine. So uh, so yeah this this stock Ford crank is really a stout piece honestly. Uh, there's plenty of guys that spin these to 68, 7,000 RPMs you know pass after pass and and also dirt track a lot of these guys you know they'll spin them up there too um these windsor cranks they're tough i mean they're uh, uh the metal that they're they're made out of is real strong stuff these cast cranks they've got a lot of uh because of our large crank journal size the three inch crank journal size there's a lot of journal overlap here with the main journal here so really these things are pretty tough i mean you know guys have been running these things these stock cranks and even stock rods you know to 800 horsepower even 1000 horsepower boosted so and i mean gary rowe was running eights with one of these cranks and nitrous 20 years ago you know so these things are stronger than most guys give them credit for so uh yeah that's what we got going on there there's our short block I showed you the pistons, so you kind of know where we're, where we're going with this. 
So uh, next time, in, well, maybe not next time, but in the in the soon, very near future, I'm going to kind of go over the other stuff that's going on the engine and uh, what we're going to do with this thing. But that's what I'm going to show you right now. So we're getting this thing assembled and we're going to go from there and we'll be getting back to you guys shortly. All right, till next time, remember to hit that like, share, subscribe, and put something in the comments. All right, you guys have a good one.